Listen, you know there's children on site, right? You guys can't be doing that right now. Maybe later once it gets dark. You know that what, what that reminds me of? The movie Doctor Doolittle 2. Yeah. When the when he said that the turtles haven't bred in like 40 years. Oh yeah. So he, he give him some of the pie. he give him some of the blue pills. Oh yeah, you're looking fine. <laughs> Coming at you, baby. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we're back. Camp Kennan. This yes, is his sir. compound. We got our new buddy Toger, who's from Crystal River. We met him last weekend. This is Jake, and that fluke right over there. Now, for those of you all that follow along, you know he's got huge alligators. We fed him in our last video of what, last month? Yeah, it was last month. I love oh, when you come by. Yeah, so listen, you remember my video of bow fishing snakeheads? Got him. Got him. Look, same exact shot as the first one. That's crazy. This stuff, my friend. Oh. Out the back of the truck. Show them the view I had. You had that bird's eye view. We just figured out a way to do it. Drive by. Ooh. Drive by. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty one. Got him right in the eye. Right in the eyeball. These arrows are nice because you just unscrew the tip. And the barbs go backwards like this. And you bring them right over here to this gator cooler. Well, something like. I'm about to show you a sneak peek of a video you haven't even seen yet. Goodness, that's the biggest pavilion I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy moly. That is the biggest vermilion snapper I have ever seen. Jeez. I thought the one you caught butterfly jigging was the biggest one I ever saw. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look at this thing. We just, you just, you, we that just... is a freak. So Luke wanted to feed the alligators. We're going to go off and do something. Luke, you can take these snake heads. Just go in there in that water and here. Or you can take this. Good job. Just open that gate and go in there and pat the water. Dad, I'm not doing you might that. want to set the camera down though because the one will come up after you. <laughs> Y'all, we're not letting him go in there. <laughs> out of that gate. Hold on, as soon as you touch that lock, these guys see that. Look, look at her. Right here. I see it. She's so conditioned to hearing voices. And when she, you know what's cool is in the short time we've been doing this that they've been here, as soon as they know there are other people here, they get over here. Because they know when there are other people, we're getting fed. So, for those of y'all that don't know, Camp Kennan actually has an insanely awesome YouTube channel based solely around reptiles. That's right. And a lot of these animals that he has are animals that other people had that maybe shouldn't have had and he's taken them in or animals that people couldn't keep anymore. He's created this huge collection. And don't go anywhere if you've already watched the last video because this time we're going to show you animals that we didn't show you the last time, including two awesome new caimans he just added to his collection. Cool. Oh, that's awesome, oh, man. Oh, he just went underwater. One of, my, one of my Mexican musk turtles. These just, guys are awesome. You just showed up in here? Yeah. Oh, that's so Look, cool. Look at that guy. These guys are Mexican giant musk turtles. Right there. He uh, was on the lamb. We got him. Here, huh? Oh. Is that the one that ended up in your waterfall the other day? The last time we were here? I think, actually, yes. That turtle travels. That turtle gets around. You got to call him, him that magician. We're actually going to put magician? him in with the caiman. He's going to come here. That's his name. Houdini. Houdini's Houdini. his new name. That's his new name. All right. Go ahead there, bud. Now get a lock. Oh, the female's way over there, so here comes the male. Let's get that male out, Gabe, and let everyone know how big he is. Come on, Snaggletooth. The last time I was here, y'all heard me scream like a baby. Yeah, well, he will come. He will keep coming these days, so just be, be wary. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, there he goes. How awesome is that, Gabe? Hey, that thing is so cool. I am cool. loving the fact that you bring over snakeheads for these guys to eat. Oh, my dad had a message for you, too. He's got three squirrels for you. I know. That's right. <laughs> my dad has mango trees that are the best mango trees ever. And he shoots the squirrels off of them, and he saves them for Kenan's animals. Y'all hear that black belly tree duck? You want to get that female now? Yeah. Get her fed, dude. Aww. Now, She'll what a cool idea. Don't you offer her. That female steals all the food from the male. Look at <laughs> Look. her. She don't yeah. care about how big Typical he is. woman right there. Come on. 
I'll order fast food and Kelly say it. I don't want anything and then she'll eat all my fries. Yeah. So how well, cool is it that we can remove a really bad non-native species, which I like them, I don't think they're bad, but we can now eat them and we can bring them to these animals. Come on, Dale. That's Lady Dale. She she had a number three on her skin when she was a little girl. Oh, uh, looks like he's getting it. He's getting it there. He likes that snake head. No, come here, right here. <laughs> Listen to that jaw pop. I'm trying to give it to you. <laughs> you did good though, man. I didn't scream this time. You didn't scream this time. And let's get her a piece though. I She's, got a tilapia in here for her. She'll love it. Come she'll here, girl. It. There you go. Look, he's leaving now. He's like, I've had enough. How awesome. He just had two massive snakes. Oh yeah. You can keep going though. Come here, girl. There you go. There she goes. Look at that. How oh, she, she just it. crushed it. God bless you. Dad, can I come in now? <laughs> no. Now. <laughs> you stay there, buddy. Oh. Like nothing. Just oh, smushed it. She, they crushed turtle shells, you know? I don't know why that reminds me of Finley right there. <laughs> now, be honest Because <laughs> he's got to eat like this now, right? <laughs> now, be honest with me. How many of you, leave a comment below. How many of y'all thought we were gonna let Luke come in here by himself? No. Not with mama, not, not with mama over here. My I wouldn't mama. do it anyway. <laughs> My lady will not allow that to happen, don't worry. Here's, be, uh... here, here's, let's, let's feed Look Houdini this. He's to really her. mangling this because he's gotta Hello. flip it around. Oh my goodness, oh, look at the mouth. Good. No, you gotta look at this. He's got, she's gotta flip that around the other way so she can swallow because those spines on that tilapia, you know how it is, if you don't swallow it head first, that could hurt you. Uh, what do you got? Still a little frozen? Yeah, that's too are. Oh, good. Look at this. He's gonna. <laughs> he's really gonna feed that little bitty piece to her, huh? Toes now. Look at him out back. Oh yeah. Oh, She's probably so full, bad. or at least close to it. I think she still got something in her mouth. Yeah. She's Here, trying. I'll just leave this for you, for later. <laughs> later right is now. not an option. There she goes. She's like, all right, a little snack. I want to go feed the uh, caiman. Let's try it. Oh. Those guys really don't eat until evening. Oh, man. Look, Look at that snakehead go. You thought he swallowed it. He didn't. That's what, when we're gator hunting, they'll hold the bait sometimes for an hour before they actually swallow it. That was awesome. That was cool, that was cool right? Wow. I, I, like, I like my backyard. Let's show them something that we didn't show. Let's them go the see time. the caiman, man. We'll try. Um, let's tr since you filleted them, that blood smell might be good for them. Oh yeah. Follow? So we need then, to let the kids get in. What can the kids do right now? The kids can uh, get in with the iguanas. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I say we make Jake go in there with uh, Slinky. Oh yes. I won't even do that. What is what? Slinky? Yeah. Slinky's this really innocent lizard. It loves kids. You have any smaller fish? We can Slinky's cut cool. Snapper heads. Yeah, Wait, can I go in with Slinky? Yeah, Slinky loves little kids and story time. <laughs> you can read him a book. <laughs> Hello, dog. Okay. I heard that, that caimans are the most powerful type of gator in the whole world. Wow. How good the most powerful. I think they're, they're one of the most so aggressive so so crocodilians. Ours are super nice. Yeah. Yeah. You got any snakes that are friendly? We got the uh, carpet pipe on. Well, the last time I was here, or actually the second to last time, you brought a snake out and you're like, oh, this is a friendly snake and it bit you. Yeah. Uh, that it might happens. be the same one. That's not my definition of I don't friendly. I have too many snakes. I have the python, but she's not allowed out of her. Well, pipe. take them in there. Can you take them in? Yeah, we could go in and see it. Look, he's got this little snake. It's like this big. Look, you can pet it and everything. You can see the tail of the caiman right cool there. Is that? <laughs> I'm stoked yeah. to put him in here. Since Cayman are from South America, South and Central America, this is a Central American turtle. We've got a couple other Central American turtles in here. I'm trying to create like, um, you know, like a zoo exhibit. You know what I mean? Like with the animals that may be found uh, in the same habitat. But here we go. Well, oh, he's a world traveler because yeah. the last time he was way over 
on the other side in that pool. Yeah, I'm psyched though. There you go. Boink. Caimans won't eat. No, they're too small, uh, this particular yeah. group. Uh, so let's go over here. I think their heads are facing this way. I don't think these guys are going to eat, but you know what? I mean, we could try. We could try, and then you guys could get a cool shot of them in their cave. Here's the female and the males right next to her. The female's smaller, and they're kind of oh, yeah. shy. Here, you want to get on up close. and I think it's too dark in there. Oh, you should be able to see the, the face. If you go yeah. further in, you'll see. Oh, they're small. Them? Yeah, they're, they're smaller. Luke will crawl in that hole and bring one out. Pound for pound, these things are scarier than alligators. Ooh. Yeah, it's nuts. I'd rather jump on the back of a gator than jump on the back of one of these. Huh. Just because, think about it. If you're a little dude, you got that Napoleonic complex, right? Yeah, short man syndrome. Exactly, dude. That's what happens with these guys. But let's see. As you stick your whole arm in there. Yeah. Look at it. She don't even want nothing to do. They're with. one of the most like aggressive crocodilians. That is funny. Now these two happen to be pretty cool though. Yeah. They're, they're just So chilling. what do you normally feed them? Well, they do. They eat fish, they eat rats, chicks, like that. But being that these animals were in one, my buddy, the same guy I got the gators from, they were living in one habitat for years, over 10 years. When you move an animal, especially reptiles, it can upset them. So they might go off food for a little while. So it's been about a month since they've been here. But believe it or not, came in alligators, crocodiles, as long as they're well fed, they could go like a year oh, yeah. without eating. Oh, yeah. So I'm not really worried about them too much, but I am going to try a couple of little uh, tricks that my friends taught me, like skin a rat, leave it kind of near the water's edge, and at night when no one's looking, they'll probably eat it. I'll tell you what though, nothing goes to waste here at the camp. Let's go hang out with Slinky, because I love that dude, and he is going to be so happy to just eat this fish, dude. I'm not going anywhere near Slinky with a bloody finger. Nah, he will stop. He won't get you. Come on. Slinky scares Actually, me way more than those alligators. Well, I'll tell you what. Kelly did such a good job with him the last time. I'll just let her feed Slinky. And then we'll have... Uh, we'll get Luke behind her. How's that sound? And then I'll be on hand. Because even though Slinky has never bitten anyone, I still treat him like a big you know Kitty seven ferocious that's, that's looking that's the right way to go about this yeah <laughs> but i do want luke to get some experience here so let's head on over it's not a far walk to slinky's house yeah because i want Shelf, i man. want jake and toger to you feel like grabbing fish to oh, see the God. big snake all right you ready for oh, a big snake listen, guys he is right you see slinky oh my goodness luke you see luke yeah. look at him he's ready Luke, yeah, he's gonna come he's tearing at you. Two different kids in the but, past, Luke. So you have to yeah, be careful. Yeah, you want to do this? Do you want to go in with him? He's you not do. gonna regurgitate he likes you. Boys the best. All right, what we need to do first is give him food. Are you cool? It just he's gonna come yeah, right up right to here. the door. You okay. get on in here. He's coming right to the door. He should go right for it. Just Which you know what you do. Luke, remember yeah, Jurassic going. World? This is just like that. I'm gonna feed him fast because he's right here. Yeah, he's right there. He's gonna get excited. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, of course. You ready, Slinky? It's okay. He's it. all bowed he up. Smell it. He's never seen that kind oh, of fish before. Boy. Oh, oh, that was awesome. That's Come here, Luke. Come here, Luke. Come on. Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. Come on, Luke. Get on up in there, buddy. Jump up. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. The thing is, these guys, similar to snakes, they're in the same family. They don't have as flexible a jaw, but their jaw is flexible and he'll be able to swallow that whole fish. So he's just got to get it head first, which he's doing. And then he's going to angle it and it's going right down. Ow. He does not like <laughs> that hurts. Look at it. <laughs> Dude. Slinky. Yeah. He gets, no, he doesn't like people getting all up on him when he's eating, man. Boy. So that's what he does. Look he at that. Like, yeah. He welted you. So I came in here once with no yeah. shirt on, did the same thing. The I had a welt all the way down my back. That is a legit whip, that tail. It's slinky, I thought we were tight. That was hilarious. Well, at least he didn't bite the hand that fed him. Oh yeah. He just, he had no problem whipping it. Yeah. Oh, oh, look out. Yeah, he see Kelly talking smack, he's gonna come at you. <laughs> I was watching him. Look at that lizard, man. So in the wild, this guy would scavenge, 
He would hunt. I've actually seen him in the deep pool here. I've got all these African cichlids in here. I've seen him take his tail, take his whole body, and try and corral the fish and try and grab them with his mouth. So they do hunt fish like that. Um, they'll get up in the shallows and take their tail and flick the fish out of the water and run after them and grab them. Um, they'll, look, ooh, here ooh. it goes, here it goes. This is it. Oh, I love it. He's gonna smack you at least before he smacks me now. You see the back where the jaw hinges? Yeah. It's real flexible there. So it's opening up. See that? Here it goes, it's about to be gone, people. That's it, hard part's over. Luke, on three, you gotta get up and run because now he's oh, gonna run. be trying to get something else, Luke. One, oh, man. two, three, go, run. Get out of Luke, here. run. He's Luke, get out of here. Why do you keep looking backwards? He's, see, he's turning. Get Luke's not. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. He's done. See, he's a big, he's a good boy, this lizard. Oh, yeah, he's a real great boy. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta learn the lizard <laughs> etiquette, man. It, it sounds like a bull whip going off. Y'all, yeah, that's Camp's motion. wife. What's your first name again? Kate. Kate. That's Camp's wife, Kate. She's probably the real boss. Camp. Everyone thinks my name's Camp. It's Kenan. Well, everybody <laughs> calls me Blue Gabe, and my name is Gabe. There you go. Well, that's true. Blue Gabe. I love it. He got a little bit of the entrails. Pretty cool, huh, Luke? Do you like it? That tongue freaks me out. You want to hold a baby tortoise? Yes. <laughs> I remember... I remember... Mine that dad caught with his bare hands. He caught a tortoise with his bare hands? No, like a turtle. Oh, wow. Luke, look at that. These turtles. What's going on in Luke's season. brain right now? They're, the ones that are they're just so cute. Goodness. Yeah. So there's two different types in here. Right? Yeah, there's the red foots and the salt cod of tortoises. Oh my gosh, look, he's got a little mom. I say since we just saw your smallest turtle, real quick, let's go see your biggest the turtle. Biggest turtle, I Luke. Put that one in there. Luke will try to put one in his pocket yeah, in the heartbeat. Oh, look out, Luke. Dad, can we keep one? Come on, Luke, you thought that one was big? Let's go see the biggest turtle. Yeah, let's go see it. All right, boys, all three of y'all got to get a chunk of cactus for this. And then I want to come back and show the rock iguanas because they're my favorite. What is that one? Don't forget the snake. Uh, the snake is not my favorite. That is the this biggest. Is, I like that big snake. With that one. It is the biggest turtle. It's big, big enough to swallow my whole hand. You swallow your whole body. Just wait. Yeah, You're in for the shock of your life. You guys can't be doing that in broad daylight. Seriously, bud? I've seen it all now. Come that down here so it doesn't have to climb up this rock. No, let it climb up. Oh, he wants it to climb, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, I wanted to exercise. In captivity, the Galapagos tortoise needs exercise. Where they live, the ro it's a volcanic island, so there's a lot of rocky outcroppings, and they travel far over the islands, and they go looking for cactus and other vegetation. And if you keep them in captivity, sometimes their back legs don't develop properly, so you got to make sure they have exercise. Oh, he's eating from both of y'all. He's spoiled. Look, go into Palmettas and find a third one. There's one more. I hear it. Okay. It's over there. Oh, yeah, you can one. Yeah. We hear it, Luke. Luke, I think it's over here somewhere. I heard him over here. Oh, yeah. I definitely hear him. He's right here. He's way back there deep. He's on, he's on the other oh, side. Oh, I see him, Luke. Luke, crawl right through here. Crawl right through there, go. Just like when we're hog hunting. Put your head down and go. Go all the way in there. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I see him. Ow, ow. All right, we'll be back to check on you later. <laughs> yes. See you later, alligator. So now we're gonna feed, or not feed, but hang out with my favorite animal that he has as far as scaly dogs go this is it this is guapo senor guapo he's a cuban rock iguana he's shedding a little bit i'm helping him out uh this guy i've had since 2004 he's 18 years old going on 19 in august and um these guys are found in cuba and every island um in the caribbean has a species of rock iguana gabe so you got the you know bahamian uh, rock iguanas you've got the 
rhinoceros iguana, which I have, they're over there, and they're from the island of uh, Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, Haiti, uh, Jamaican iguanas, but they're all the most endangered lizards on earth collectively uh, as a group of lizards because, as you can imagine, the islands have been kind of set up for tourists nowadays, but these guys are great. I love yeah, this lizard. Just, yeah, he's just shedding. I figure it helps him as long as it's ready to go, you know? Yeah. He's such a cool dude. He's Where's amazing. the one that has the eyeball on its head? Oh, that's this guy. So if you look right here. It's just dirty um, right now? It's dirty right now. He's just shedding. But that is a third eye. And what that tells him is light and dark. And then it helps him regulate his body temperature because he's a reptile. So they have to lay in the sun to get warm. And they have to move out of the sun if they get too hot. And that sends a message right to his brain letting him know, I better get moving. Come on over here, Jake. You've met him before. Mm -hmm. Picking that skin is so like soothing. I it love is. It's like picking a scab. It's you really just can't weird. help you it. You can't stop it, man. I know. And he doesn't seem to mind. And he's, like I said, he is probably the tamest lizard I have. Here, put your hands on out. Hold him like a baby. There you go, pal. Now, check this out. He has a girlfriend. Her name's Lola, but they are not together anymore because, as you can see, Lola bit his toes off. That's rude. Very rude, you know, uh, especially uh, today of all days. But, um, yeah, I separated them. They were together for a long time, but the honeymoon's over. So we uh, had to separate them. You're on the couch. That's it, dude. <laughs> Are their eyes supposed to be red like this? Uh, he's just got really beautiful red eyes, man. Isn't that cool? Isn't this like a, rhin a rhinoceros? Uh, it's similar to a rhinoceros iguana. It's okay. He's just Guys, climbing you on you. See this he's just climbing. Right here? What? There's a turtle right there? Get yeah, it's here. right there. Yeah, this guy. Toger, awesome. you want to hold this, dude? You want to hold a lizard? Sure. Put your both hands out like it's a baby. There you go. Look at he's this. just gonna he's gonna clamber around. You can let him kind of crawl up on his shoulder if you want. Go ahead, flip him this way. Don't mind those claws, buddy. Be brave. There this you go. is supposed to be here. <laughs> sure is. Luke, Luke Look immediately that, comes in and finds something else. Yeah, there's a bunch of turtles in here, buddy. Toger, that fits your mullet well. Is that a mullet? You have, you're rocking a straight up mullet? Yeah. Cool, man. I had a mullet. I don't think there's a man alive that hasn't had a mullet. And nature is giving me a permanent mullet. It's horrible. Don't let that happen to you, Toga. Look, that whole log just moved. What? Knew it. I just looked over there and that whole log was moving. There's a turtle under it. Here, if you want him off of you, go home. Place your oh, back up against this uh, ledge and he'll walk on off. You know, walking on some, they, they oh, there you go. There you go. Dude, you you're a pro, man. You did it. All right, I think it's time. All right, it's time. It's time. For the grand finale, you Luke, guys haven't seen Luke, this. go give your brother Jake a hug because you never know. This this could be it. He could be snake food. Oh, you yeah, you definitely wanted to come. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Just watch your step walking out. Look, he's raising up like he's going to smack you. You saw what happened to me. He's just so cute. And the turtle's over here. There's too much turtles. <laughs> it's too much turtles, Kate. I know. There's a lot of turtles. Too much turtles. And they're making more. Oh, you got to meet some procs, huh? I did. We had a little boo-boo while we were getting some fish heads ready. Did you get all on it? You want a little more? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Where the tortoise is. She shed again? Look how cool that shed is. All right, listen, stand back. They're mean when they shed, right? They're, they are, yeah, they're a little bit more ornery because the, they can't really see well. They got a clear scale over their eye, and as they shed, that scale gets opaque. It gets kind of cloudy for them. Oh, she got a tick. I gotta pull some ticks off of her, so we gotta help her out. There's also a large poop there. We gotta clean that out, and we'll pull out this shed. Look how cool that is. Isn't that is. cool? Look, here she is. I just wanna keep my stick, because every time the door opens, two things happen. Either I'm getting picked up or moved around. Here, you can hold that, Luke. <laughs> or I'm getting fed. That looks like bubble wrap. Yeah. yeah. Luke, set it over there on that yellow tub. What so it? what do you know, feed this thing? She eats, I mean, whatever your dad will bring over, like squirrels. And I mean, I've been waiting for a, a young hog. Well, we'll get one of them. Uh, we were supposed yeah. to last If I get time. a young hog in her, we won't have to feed her for six months. So and can you pick her up or no? Or I have, yeah. I've picked her up before. She's gotten a little bit more... Um, aggressive? Not really aggressive. More like not as tolerant. Well, I need to pick her up because... A snake that size, could could it kill you? It could. 
It could kill you, it couldn't eat me. But you see, I just picked off a tick. Being that she's kept in, an, you know, we're in a shed, sometimes you get these ectoparasites, but I just like to squish them. I had to pick some of those out of Kelly's hair when we were in Texas oh, turkey hunting. Yeah, yeah that was same. in the brush. Here's the tricky but... thing though, fellas. We've got, hey girl, hey girl. She's hissing. She is hissing, but she knows once I pick her up, she's pretty good. Let's get her over here. Come on in here. See, I got, I just want to see her. I think there's a tick right by her. Right on her face. Yeah, I got to get that quick. Look, Jake, pick that one off of her. She got one there too. Here, let's clean her. This is just what you got to do. Look at her, man. She's stretching on out. And the whole reason I built this indoor thing is because Fish and Wildlife does not want these animals out in an outdoor enclosure anymore. Uh, they're considered prohibited animals. Um, they are loose in the Everglades. As you guys know, you've probably hunted some yourself. Um, this is, of course, an albino. Uh, this animal most likely wouldn't have survived in the wild because she has no real camouflage. She was given to me years ago because she got too big for the owner. And uh, unfortunately, um, he could no longer keep her. And I have the proper permits to, to, you know, safely house her. But yeah, she's beautiful. But you see, she wants nothing to do with hurting anybody. I mean, a snake this big, no joke, could easily kill a man of my size. Um, the rule of thumb is you don't want to handle a snake that is your size or bigger alone. Um, so I'm glad you guys are all here because I get to come in here and just make sure that she's uh, free of any ticks. Oh, oh, now you guys Jake, are small. Here she comes now. back. So here she is, and you see she's just flicking her tongue, looking, looking to make sure that uh, uh, that gives her all the information she needs about her environment. She's got eyes. She's got also on her lips. She's got these labial pits. They're called. Um, and what those pits do is they actually sense heat. So if she's looking for warm blooded prey like chickens, birds, mammals, uh, she can pick them up like almost like, like the heat vision. It's pretty cool stuff. So these animals are incredible predators. But what do you think, man? It's a big Luke, there's one right behind you. Luke, Luke, right behind you, Luke. <laughs> are you messing with Luke hard today? Yeah, he oh, always, he always gets messed with. Let me see. Right there. No, that's just discolored. She's got, her scales look like as big as a fish. It's pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, don't yeah, you get yeah, no closer, closer, Luke. She's, she's a good girl, but we don't want any accidents. Inside her teeth, they're, uh, inside her mouth, there are 200 teeth. And they're sharp. They're like needles. Don't they and like go back? They like... do. They're recurved. Good man. That's right, Jake. And that, what do you think that does? When she grabs onto something, you're only going one direction. Down her throat. But let's clean this up. Yeah, I'm getting up out of here. I'm going to look for something else while y'all are doing this. Yeah, Whoo, it's hot in that room. Yeah, I had to leave. It was way too hot. So y'all want to see the prettiest school of fish you've ever seen? Come on, Luke. Let's feed him. Jake, Toger, y'all look how amazingly beautiful these fish are right here. There's every color you can imagine. I mean, the bright blues, the oranges. Sure. Where's that anything. turtle you were just telling me? Oh, we gotta find it. Hopefully it'll swim on up and eat some of this food. Let me call him out. What is it again? You said it's the only turtle with flippers like a sea turtle. It's called a fly river turtle. And they're from Papua New Guinea and Northern Australia. And I have three of them in here that were illegally brought into the United States in 2001. San Diego Zoo had them and they realized that they take these little babies and they were raising them up and they realize they're aggressive towards each other so i got like 17 of them down here and uh, we dispersed them in uh, private collections and they're doing well but i've got three of them they're awesome i love them they're my favorite little turtles we also have another species gabe called a batiger affinis that's the scientific name it's called the royal river terrapin and they are huge turtles from asia we're gonna i see one the males right out here uh, they're coming dude there's oh, a male under that log. Yeah, let me just get, once you get the food out, they start to smell it. I'll just spread that food around and these guys will be out in no time. Straight ahead, there's one swimming. It should be coming right. Oh yeah, there the it is. They are awesome. These guys are really active at nighttime. I come out here with a nice flashlight and it's kind of fun. I just sit out here and watch my turtles at night. You know, normal adult male stuff. Turtle watching. Turtle watching. <laughs> Enough of these little turtles. Let's go feed the turtles in a big pond. Dad? Yes, sir. I thought we were going to see more snakes. 
Luke, do not move, Luke. Do not move, Luke! Put it on him, here. Let him hold it. Let him hold it. Let him hold it. Just put it around his neck, here. Oh, stop it. Oh, man. They got you good, Luke. Oh, Luke. Hey, that's for always harassing me while I'm driving in the truck and I say, Luke, can we just have some quiet time? Payback! If I did that to my mom, she'd legit more than likely shoot me. I'm not doing that. Hello. Yeah, they have a pig nerve. No, no, they have like. Up, buddy. That's a streaky back. A streaky back. That there's a cooter, man. Look, there's walking catfish in there. Oh yeah, there's everything. There's a big one. Oh, Luke, you just about fell. There's gator snappers in there too. You like coming to places like this? Yeah. You're not bringing that yellow snake home with you. Not happening. Look at that thing right there. It's got its mouth wide open. Big pig. You see this little catfish coming up? Luke is definitely the one that's always into stuff. I'm into that big yellow snake. No. You're into catching bass. Oh, there's some cat walking cat. Y'all having fun, Toger and Luke? I wonder if we get fish in here and get a couple of catfish. Whoa. All right, folks at home, that's it. Hey, once again, we had to come visit our good friend, Camp Kennan, and his wife, Kate. I was supposed to bring them fish, but I went inside because I forgot it, and I put it in a Ziploc, and I don't know where I put it, so I got to come back and bring them them fish. I hope you guys enjoy these style videos. Make sure you check out Camp Kennan on YouTube, as we talked about earlier. Right now, though, we got to go home, get the boat ready, because I'm taking the boys fishing all day tomorrow. And we'll probably save some more heads for you, too. I appreciate it, buddy. Good seeing you. Hey, like always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.